So the champion novice chase then is race four. And this is three miles and one furlong. It's a grade one event again in the top one and the second one are both for Joshua Sutherland. Battle of Agincourt and Battle of Trafalgar. David Robertson's got Black Prince, then Scottish Half for Stu Gray, Soldiers Call for Paul Rhodes, Tiger Cut for Graham Clutterbuck and Vile Moments for Darren Thompson. So another small field then in a grade one and away they go. Making their way towards the first fence and over it they go. Black Prince is gone. I didn't notice that one. Black Prince is a faller at the very first fence. So just six left then. A bad luck there for David Robertson as they come down towards the second of 17. And there is the loose horse just about showing in the lead. But Joculus, so it doesn't count. And Scottish half. That's too great. Leads over it then. From Soldiers Call, Vile Moments. And the Southern pair on the inside of... Tiger Cut and Graham Clutterbuck. And this is the third. And they're all safely over that one as well. Getting their way now down towards the fourth. With a Scottish half the leader. And comfortable in front. With a loose horse. Closest company as they take the fourth. And over that one they go. A bit of a slow jump at the back by vile moments. Chucky on that one may well have thought that was a little bit of a vile moment. He thought he might be jettisoned out of the plate. And it's Scottish half who is in the lead. Now a lot of Scottish people, I don't remember any of them ever having a half. Anyway, Battle of Trafalgar is second. And soldiers call them Battle of Agincourt. Four moments has now got up on the inside of Tiger Cut. Right the way towards the next. Still a long, long way to go. And Scottish half appears to be on a mistake there by Soldiers Call. Lots of, lot of war references in this, aren't we? Really? Battle of Agincourt, Battle of Trafalgar, Soldiers Call. But even through in there, Tiger's Cut. A cut of a sword and then vile moments. Remember a vile moment if you get. Tiger cut. Ended up in the middle of the Battle of Trafalgar or the Battle of Agincourt. I dare say you could get yourself into a bit of an argument as well if you bought a Scotchman a half, but anyway, <laughs> Scottish half in the lead. And the Black Prince as well, the one that's out of it. That's a knight as well, isn't it? So, what is into the old battle thing, it would seem. And Scottish half's the leader then. From Battle of Agincourt second, Battle of Trafalgar is third. Then comes Soldiers Corps as they take the eighth. And all over that one. All they're pretty much the same. The Scottish half is the one that's put in the pace to the race. And in a clear leader. A good four lengths to Battle of Trafalgar and Battle of Agincourt and Soldiers Corps as they take that ditch. And a gap back to all oh, Varmotes is gone there, so Varmotes is the latest one to depart so seven started and only five left on their feet which means all these will get some prize money if they get round but the way the jumping's been going at the moment you wouldn't put too much money on that happening and Scottish Half is the leader I've still got a long way to go and quite a lot of jumping to do Scottish Half in the lead oh Scottish Half this time gave it a wallop and so to the Battle of Agincourt um, if you gave me an even money bet, there'll be another forder I'd probably take it. And it's Scottish half in front from Soldiers Call second. Battle of Trafalgar on the inside. And Soldiers Call, of course, don't forget this is a three mile one furlong, so we've also got the potential of a pull up as well. Now this race is far from over. And Scottish half is the leader. Tiger Cut is creeping up on the outside. And down towards the 11th. Scottish half jumped that well. Then came Tiger Cut. Soldiers Call also jumped it well. Then comes Battle of Trafalgar and Battle of Agincourt. And they're the only ones left in it. With Black Prince and Vile Moments having departed the race. But Scottish half is still the leader. We're now to the 12th. Jumped that one nicely. Good jump by Battle of Trafalgar. Sees that one going to second. Main body of the field are grouping up now, but they've still got to get to this Scottish half. There's a good two or three lengths clear. And Scottish half comes to this ditch, jumps it really well. 
then Tiger Cut, then Battle of Trafalgar, then Soldiers Corps, then Battle of Agincourt. The Scottish half still in front. Only six furlongs to go. Only four fences to jump. Scottish half, Tiger Cut, Battle of Trafalgar, Soldiers Corps, Battle of Agincourt. That's the order as they come to the fourth last. Good jump there by Tiger Cut, sees that one go alongside Scottish half. The Scottish half now asserts and pushes on again. Gonna try and lead from the front and make every post a winning one. Scottish half has suddenly gone five clear. Has he gone too soon? Four furlongs to go, still three to jump. Here comes Soldier's Call. Bit of a slower jump by the leader and the lead has now been diminished. It's Scottish half though, still in the lead by a couple of lengths. Two Tiger Cut in second, Soldier's Call in third. Then Battle of Trafalgar and Battle of Agincourt. It's Scottish half coming down towards the second last fence then. In the lead from Tiger Cut, over that one he goes. Tiger Cut second, then Soldier's Call, then Battle of Trafalgar. Battle of Agincourt is beaten, I think. They race down towards the final fence then now with two furlongs still to go and it's Scottish half still in the lead from Tiger Cut in second. Then Soldiers Call, Battle of Trafalgar, Battle of Agincourt. At the final fence they go and Scottish half got over it in the lead. Here comes Tiger Cut, here comes Soldiers Call, but Battle of Agincourt is beaten. It's now Scottish half on the inside. He's trying to stick his neck out. Here comes Tiger Cut. It's Scottish half. Tiger Cut is between these two. It's going to be a ding dong head mobber as they come towards the line. Tiger Cut, Scottish half. Tiger Cut just gets it up on the outside and Tiger Cut is going to take it bad look for Scottish half and Stu. Battle of Trafalgar was third and I thought Stu was going to make it a miraculous group one double for the commentators in the first four races of the week but not quite and no doubt he'll be spitting feathers and jumping up and down about that but he ran a good race didn't it look 42 on Tiger Cut takes it though for Graham Clutterbuck. Scottish half for Stu Gray second. Battle of Trafalgar, Joshua Sutherland third. Soldiers call Paul Rose fourth. And Battle of Ashen call Joshua Sutherland fifth. And you could argue that two smallest trainers in the race have come first and second.